Hello, James King here. Welcome to ForexGridmaster.com. This is me here, right beside my favorite canoeing lake here in Nova Scotia called Paradise Lake. Show you the website a little bit. Forex trading is an incredible opportunity. I do highly advise that you read my About Forex section. It's not uh, normal. There's some very good information there that everybody should be reading. Here we are in the forum and one of the posts is FGM Express preview of upcoming release. So this is what I want to do today is introduce you to Forex Gridmaster Express. I already have it set up here in Strategy Tester and I'll show you a one year back test. Hopefully we can get this finished in about 30 minutes. So what we'll be testing is the Aussie New Zealand onboard default strategy. We'll be using the open prices method which is very fast and also accurate especially for ForexGridmaster.com and we're using the one minute time frame each one of these candlesticks you see here represent one minute of trading we've set spread to 30 points which is three pips uh, the reason for 30 is that the average spread at ic markets in the last couple months has been 1.5 pips their commission is seven pips so that adds up to 2.2 pips so we've got a 0.8 of a pip buffer here by choosing 30. Now we're going to test for one year from August 31st, 2013 to August 30th, 2014. We're going to do it in visual mode so I can show you. And we're pretty well ready to go. I'll go into the properties and show you something here. The first two lines here uh, are the set file name. Uh, Aussie New Zealand buy sell counter trend six pip grid spacing uh, grid spacing step of 0 0.22 pips uh, lot size proportional the first lot size of the first trade order uh, it will be 0 0.015 it's a standard hundred thousand dollar account uh, for a lot size so that's fifteen hundred dollars in trade a uh, lot size increase percent 20 each trade order going away from grid center its lot size will increase by 20 percent each trade orders take profit is 20 pips uh, close run profit percent before trail stop 1.1 percent and the trail stop 0.1 percent so what that means is we're placing a basket of trades in play and the net value of the closed trades and the open trades when it reaches plus 1.1 percent the 0.1 percent trailing stop is triggered and it goes on from there uh, this just shows us that we're using an ICM markets trading platform spread 30 and we're using the model for back testing of open prices and we're trade this is the important part we're trading uh, an account currency of a US dollar $25,000 and there's a hundred thousand dollars in the account so this first setting you see here called chart equity is a new feature introduced by Forex Gridmaster Express and it's uh, it's actually a breakthrough you can set in here whatever amount of your account uh, currency you want to trade. So in this case, we're choosing uh, 25,000. This particular setting enables portfolio trading on the same account. And it also enables a lot more safety. In other words, in this particular sample that I'm giving you here, we're only trading 25,000 of the 100,000. But because the other 75,000 is there, even though it's not in trade, it lowers our margin risk considerably. And you'll see that as we go.
we're trading a fixed center strategy which basically means there will be sell limits above and buy limits below so, so fixed center means uh, at the start of the run uh, the center is fixed and doesn't change until the end of the run the next run will have another fixed center but it'll be at current price of when the run starts we're trading buys and sells counter trend strategy there's the grid spacing of six max pending buy orders one sell orders one max open buy trades 45 sell trades 45 uh, lots of settings we won't be using uh, open at current price for instance we're not using that if we wanted to then we would be setting a buy order to open each time each run opens or a sell order we're using not used there's the lot size, take profit pips, and all the other settings. A lot of settings there we're not using. There's 46 settings altogether. This is the light version of version 5.1, which has 106 settings. This version has 46 settings. Okay, uh, let's just start trading and I'll explain more as it's trading. So we're going to click OK to this strategy. I'll just show you this first. There's the 100,000 that we have in the account. And um, we're not choosing any of these here or any of those. And the reason for that is I want to see all the results from the strategy testing. The, all these other choices actually are different filters to eliminate different things that you may not want to see. I want to see everything. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to click start here. And there we go. It's trading. Now I don't like that grid there, so right click on the chart, click grid, and we get rid of the grid what I'm doing here on the right is I'm compacting the price scale which compacts what you see on the chart and you can double click it to put it back to normal and on the left there you'll see trades that are open uh, all sells there's a buy limit there that blue line is the grid center line so there's that set file name I, I explained to you in the input settings. Count equity, 100,000. Chart equity, 25,000. Uh, current run net profit. At the moment, we're up 0.2% approximately. Max equity drawdown so far is 0.13%, uh, which is good, of course. Uh, here it shows us we have two buys open with a total lot value of 0.04 and we have one sell open lot value of 0.02. There's our loss limit, 70% of the 25,000. Then there's our profit percent before trail stop, 1.1, and the trail stop is 0.1%. Now down here you'll see it's it's tracking uh, the New Zealand dollar showing you how my how many US dollars uh, to buy the one New Zealand dollar and this is important because the account currency we're trading is the US dollar and we're trading the Aussie New Zealand dollar so the the New Zealand dollar is involved with the US dollar so it's important that its price be taken into consideration uh, for the most accurate uh, calculations. Now Metaquotes doesn't do that so this is also a breakthrough thanks to our brilliant programmer. Alright, uh, down here you can check and see the graph. It's going well so far by the look of it. Back to settings. All the trades here are on the results tab. So all the trading activity is uh, here. And at the end, you can actually save the report. 
which would be here. Nothing there yet, though. Not enough going on. Here's the journal, which keeps a running dialogue of what the, the robot's doing and what the trading program is doing. Those are trades being opened. The red lines you see here are, are the take profit right here. So the take profit for that would be right there. Oop, just these are closed trades. All right, so here is the slider. We're going to speed things up. That's the second fastest speed. There's a huge gap between this speed and the very fast speed, which you'll see shortly. Okay, that's the first close run, I think. Here we are. Run one, net profit, 0.96%. A little bit of slippage, $240. Now here you'll see a vertical yellow line object. If you hover over it, it gives you information about the previous run, run one. Close run one, triggered by the trail stop percent, and we profited two hundred and forty dollars. Put that back, and uh, buy sells. So we closed fifteen sells for that close run. So we had fifteen sells open, and uh, we had a net profit. So that's a way of. Uh, cleaning up accumulated negative trades, which is the big fear everybody has of uh, good trading. And here we have the for the that run we have the run equity max minimum. So twenty five thousand was the max, twenty four thousand was the minimum. All right, so let's okay. Uh, here we also have another. Uh, this is a close run rectangle and from the top to the bottom of that rectangle actually shows you the the range of the grid that you have in play and uh, that'll actually okay let's let's just go in and have a look at that it's a little difficult to get at so we gotta take a couple things out of the way and there it is rectangle properties and you can see in there, uh, there's the two different values and the ranges between those values, the range of the grid. So I'll show you more about that a little bit later. Okay, here we go. At this point, that should be going faster. There, got it going very fast now. So you, you can you can learn things while you're watching. Here we are, 15. I saw that up to 17 buys, and yet it's still in profit here. Of course, things are changing very fast as we go. Uh, let's condense it here so we can see the whole action. Now, in the chart comments, you see run 1 to run 4, the net profit, it's now at 4.28%. And uh, down here you can see it's September 26th, I think it is. Yeah. So it's almost a month. Uh, okay, one month gone by and we're up 7.2%. So that's not too bad. Also here in the bottom right, you'll see the margin level. Current margin level in real time. And also up in here, this line here, you'll see the minimum margin level. So the minimum margin level so far is 10,961%. So no, uh, no problems there at all. Uh, max drawdown right now is 7.6%. All right, let's have a look at the graph. Now here on the graph, this green line represents equity and the blue line represents cash in the account. So as equity was dropping here, uh, more and more trades opening, the cash was increasing to keep it balanced and then eventually pull it back into where they both match. 
So that would be a close run. So we're now up 13.29% after a couple months. Okay, we've had 12 close runs, so let me show you something. Right click on the chart, click on objects list, uh, sort by name, and then you can go down to the bottom and then up a little bit. These are the, the close runs here. One of those is the rectangle and one of them is the vertical line. So uh, sometimes it's... Um, very revealing just to look through each of the close run values. Uh, here for instance you can see there were 12 buys open, 16 buys open at close run, 12 sales, 7 buys, 5, 6, 7, 15, 15, 13, 11, 14, 16. So the highest amount of uh, open trades in any given run so far has been 16 buys. Those kinds of statistics help you when you choose uh, values for your grid settings. Okay, close that. That was another close run. Go by. So 18 runs, uh, up 21.37%. So if we got the net value of 1% uh, per run, then uh, that more or less signifies 18%. But of course, there's some compounding in there. And uh, also using a trail stop, uh, you make a little more too. So that, that's the 3.79% the difference between 19 runs and 22.79% uh, profit. <clears throat> so we're now at the start of January, so four months have gone by, 22.79. Uh, the action hasn't been that great. All right, uh, this is a one-year back test. Normally do we do at least four-year back test and I have one of these ready to show you. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Find the right one. Hmm. I had that all set up. That's the graph for it. Ah, there we are. Yeah. So that's the graph for 56 months, all the way back to January 1st, 2010. And these are the stats. The max equity drawdown was 43%. Uh, overall profit for 60, 56 months was 11,179%, which is the equivalent of 8.80% per month compounding. And again, we're trading chart equity of uh, US dollars 25,000. Now the account is a uh, 100,000 based. Oh, in this case we use the model every tick. Uh, every tick will give you a bit more profit than uh, open prices simply because there's more ticks in each of the one minute bars. Now on the overall account, uh, the per month profit works out to 6.14%. So even though we were trading uh, $25,000 only, the profit results for the $100,000 in the account uh, actually added up to 6.14% per month average. Now here's the advantage I was talking about, about having uh, 100,000 account currency while you're only trading 25,000, is it means the max equity drawdown of 43% is actually 10% on the whole account. 
So what we've done here for 56 months, you've only risk 10%. And of course, that's max equity drawdown. It's, it's actually not a loss. It's just equity dropping down while we're waiting for a close run. Okay, so that's not bad. 56 months, 6.14% per month and uh, a risk of 10%. Uh, you won't get that at any local bank. All right, uh, okay, back to the trading. This graph is looking good. Uh, max equity drawdown so far is only 18.81%. Uh, we have 38.77% profit. It's now 40%. So 30 runs and 40%. So 25% more uh, because of the compounding and using a trail stop. The minimum marginal level so far has been 4047 Lots of margin there, no problem. We're now uh, at March 19th. Let me experiment a little bit here. This is a, a magnifying glass here. Enable you to see the, the trade sizes there. Let me go back here. Okay. There, you can see the, the lowest lot size is 0.02. So basically, the, the way this strategy works is price is moving in a range. And the range expands. Uh, probability of a retracement increases. To match that, we're increasing the size, the lot size of each trade order so that when the retracement happens, we don't need a large retracement to get, in, get our net profit. We only need a small retracement. Now, if it starts out in a range near uh, grid center, then it's going to take a bunch of trades to, to get to close because the lot size isn't that large. But that's something I can show you. Let's go here. We're in the, let me see here, the 30 minute time frame. So each candlestick here represents 30 minutes of trading. This vertical line is the day period separator. So here we have one, two, three, four, five days of trading, plus a half day here and a half day there. This is why we're trading, trading a counter trend strategy, because you can see how price goes down, up, down, up, down, up, <laughs> and down. Uh, that's what we're cashing in on, is all of those retracements. Let me go back some here. I'll use the arrow. No, I'll just drag it. Yeah. So you can see it's constantly retracing. That's the one profound thing about Forex trading that never seems to change. Price goes up and down, up and down. Even when price is trending, like here it's trending a bit, it doesn't matter. It still goes up and down as it trends. Even in these long candlesticks, that the price may have gone up to there and down to here. <clears throat> So the Aussie New Zealand pair is an excellent pair uh, trading a counter trend strategy. There's others too, the New Zealand Canadian dollar, the Aussie Canadian, the Euro pound, the Euro uh, Swiss. But 
Each of them will be a little bit different from the other. And uh, this is where strategy tester is very important. You must thoroughly test your strategies before you put it on a live money account. You'll learn more in a one-year test watching like we're doing here than you will in, let's say, three to five years of trading. So strategy testing is very important. Okay, we're near the end of May and we're up 52%. And max equity drawdown is still 18.81%, which is excellent. Another close run. Here you can read about the uh, FGM Express. This strategy here is the exact same strategy I'm using. This was put together by Bad Men, which is not me. He's a bit of a master with uh, with an Excel program and he's developed some tools which are very helpful for uh, analyzing strategies and uh, also developing strategies. So it would be good for you to go in and uh, read some of that. Just click on that to see the whole chart. Now what he did was he combined a non-compounding strategy with the compounding strategy. So not only was he getting 10% per month compounding uh, for a 53 month period, but he was also getting 6% per month uh, that he was taking off the table month by month. So he was taking approximately 6% uh, profit. And uh, here he is talking about portfolio trading. A little explanation about his equity graphs and uh, a good take on the maths and myths about drawdown. Good stuff to read. And there's the uh, the graph for that 53 month period. And uh, oops, let's click on this. And while equity was compounding, that's the total that's the minimum and that's the max equity and that's the compound so this is money being taken out <laughs> at the same time there's money still in the account and equity goes up portfolio trading is probably the holy grail of trading
Okay, 7th of July. We're now up 59% uh, and we still have a max equity drawdown of 18%. Minimum margin level is 3,805%, so all kinds of margin. It's important to use uh, high leverage in grid trading. It gives you more flexibility and more safety. Mind you, it's a double-edged sword and you got to know what you're doing. But once you know what you're doing, it's a tremendous advantage. I see markets, uh, the maximum uh, leverage you can get there is uh, 1 to 500, which is excellent. A calculator on our website <clears throat> power of compounding so what we get answer to is the rate in other words uh, how much per month are we averaging over a certain period so we need to input uh, the principal, the amount of months traded, and the input total of what we made. So we'll go back here. We're at the end of July, so it's 11 months, and it's uh, let's yeah 61.93. So that's 40,350. Let's say there 4.44 percent per month. Not bad, but uh, a little lower than the longer test. Okay, so that's that's the end. So 12 months, 64.73. And the max equity drawdown we faced was 21.36%. Uh, that means on the whole $100,000 account, you divide that by four, so it's uh, it's about well, a bit over five percent. <laughs> so, for a five and a half percent risk, we'll say you made sixty-four percent on your twenty-five thousand for the year. Back to the graph. Back to settings. And there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at james at forexgoodmaster.com uh, or through the contact page on the website. All right. Good night.